this game week we've highlighted Salah versus Sheffield United, Kane versus Burnley, Sun versus Burnley, Sterling, West Ham as the four most likely captains. And looking ahead, Kane and Sun now are in place for game week seven, and also they're in place for game week eight when we were looking at Antonio. So now I don't need Antonio. No. But he would be a good differential captain. I will probably go Kane at West Brom. I've got to, haven't I? Come on. Right. Well, so. yeah. I mean, that is that is prime. That is prime time because with Salah, with Salah against City, the decision's a lot easier to make. Yeah. Um, compared to the other two. The yeah, problem... I mean, Kane versus West Brom is, is, is going to... If I stick without Kane, that is the one I'm really worried about. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, and when I looked at buying Kane, it was that West Brom fixture that convinced me. I was thinking, if I don't get him now, he's going to be like 7.2. Um, yeah, 11.2 by the time he gets to West Brom. Because he's, mm. yeah, what's he, 10 7? He'll be 10 8 probably by the by deadline. And yeah, it's just going to go, isn't it? Um, the problem game week coming up is game week 10, when that's when City start coming back into it. They've got that Burnley mm. fixture at home. And you think, if you haven't got City by then, that's where it could hurt. Um, yeah. So Salah at Brighton's a good captain, but there will be lots of managers on Sterling and De Bruyne, I think, by then. So I've got to start looking at how I manoeuvre my team, and whether Sun makes way at that point. I mean, I need some money to do that, and that's where Trent might go. So mm. it might not be the one for you, but that could be around the time when people couldn't. You could move Kane on for Aguero. Yeah, maybe. I just don't ever. I know. You, I know you're that. so against. I know you're no. against it, but it could. You know, it could be. It could be something to consider. I just don't ever see me doing that, but no, maybe. Uh, captain data. Um, so looking at this, I've sorted it by minutes per expected goal involvement, non-penalty, and Mane is top. Every time we look at stats, Mane stands out. Yep. And yet we don't consider him because he doesn't take penalties. Are we making and a mistake? Price. Yeah. And, and his price. I yeah. mean, he is. He's what the sec- He's the second most expensive player in the game, right? Hmm. Well, no, there's a Bamiang. Probably his boys, he's second or third. So he's got Salah and then a Bamiang. He's cheaper than Salah, though. Right. So. Yeah. But not, but just not by enough. I just don't. I just, no. I just think if you're picking, still at this point, if you're picking one player for any match out of those two, you're always going to pick Salah. And I know the stats don't always tell me, I don't always show that, but I just, I just wouldn't. I just wouldn't pick Mane over Salah. So my, yeah, my minutes ability. minutes per um, expected goal involvement, non penalty. Mane's on ninety four point nine. Calvert Lewin one hundred point seven. Kane at one hundred twenty two point seven. And Salah, Salah, look at Salah, two seven two hundred seventy two minutes per expected goal involvement. That's not a penalty. The drop off from those four. I mean, Mane, Calvert Lewin, Kane, and Son are like all looking good, and then the drop off down to Salah is is huge. Well, Salah's scored goals, but he scored goals that he wasn't expected to score. Yeah. That's the problem, other than penalties, yeah, yeah. which he is. Yeah. So the two, uh, the four goals he's got have all been good, got good quality goals. Basically, has he got how many pens has he taken? Two. I can't quite recall what it is, but two in that one game. Yeah, right? it's two. So he's got, um, yeah. So he's got four goals from open play, and obviously all good high quality goals, low quality xG. Um, minutes per shot's interesting. Minutes per shot, Salah and Kane dominate. Salah's had a shot every 18 minutes and Kane's beaten at 17.8 at the moment. Minutes per shot in the box, Salah beats Kane 23 to 7, 23.7 to 27.8. Um, but if you look at minutes per point, it's Kane and Son miles ahead, 7.4 and 7.6, Salah out at 9.4. So it's close, isn't it? Um, Looking at the defensive data, Burnley's defence fares well. Minutes per XG, 83.2, which is second to Chelsea on 81.5 in our little sample here. So the Burnley defence looks tighter than Sheffield United's. Um, But, I don't know. (laughs) Ben Mee's back, apparently. Uh, It's where where those kind of stats... um, I'm. not all. I mean, look, I mean, I look at Brighton, and I think for those stats, I should be looking at Brighton and thinking they look really resolute. And I, I don't think they do. And I look at mm-hmm. Chelsea, and I think, well, they could concede all the time. I mean, with Mendy back, it might be different. But I look at Burnley, and I just think they look. Yeah. So you think the, the stats? Like, I mean, who have they played? I mean, that's the important thing. They've played Leicester, Southampton, Newcastle, and West Brom. So you'd expect their minutes per xG to be low, to be to be high rather. Um, because those teams aren't attacking sides, apart from maybe Southampton. Leicester have struggled this year. Newcastle, West Brom certainly have for goals. So, 
Burnley, perhaps the data, we shouldn't be persuaded by that and we should perhaps have confidence in Tottenham going down and scoring some goals. Um, I just can't shake the what, what Joe said a few weeks ago on the Scoutcast where mm. he said he looked at he looks at Burnley and he sees them like he did Bournemouth last season where they just look a bit out of ideas, like they just look a bit mm. kind of labouring towards the end. They're just kind of going to not pick up enough points and just go down without too much of a fight. And I could be completely wrong about that, but that just kind of is what I think I just don't think they've got enough in the tank to get through this season mm. and I think the only way they're going to stay up is if teams around them just do a lot worse and I think when they're coming into a team like Spurs with the form they've got it's not it's not a good time the it's one stat I pick out here though is Sheffield United have conceded a big chance every 59 minutes whereas Burnley have conceded one every 75 so although Burnley have had poorer opposition than Sheffield United Sheffield United with a big chance every 59 minutes suggests mm. that Liverpool and Liverpool uh, look at it and think we're going to be vulnerable at set pieces we've got to get three goals we can't two won't be enough because they, they'll expect Sheffield United yeah. to get one so suddenly you're looking at a Liverpool attack now that has to go all, all guns blazing don't they and that's the thing that has me on Salah I think yep. and Savert we got his captaincy. Savert is Ooh. the guy Savert is the guy who got the most points from captains last season he has gone. He's now bear in mind he's got Son and he's got Kane because he wildcarded and he got those guys in. So he's got Kane and Salah. He is going Salah. Yeah. So there you go. There you go. Doesn't surprise me. I think I think Salah is the. I think Salah is the pick. To be fair, 